What's up guys, my name is Odin, welcome back to another art video. Today's art video, we are going to be doing a fan art video. I know, it's been a long time since I've done one of those, but I'm bringing it back, and in today's art video, it is actually going not to be anime related. Well, I mean, it kind of is, because my art style is like that, but it's actually a DC comic book person. So, let's just jump right into the video. All right, guys, just a little context about this character that I am doing a fan art of. Uh, the DC Universe actually does new characters every so often, and this character happened to be one of them. Uh, Alexis was a student of Snyder College. She was infatuated with the Joker and eventually came into contact with them through the Internet. He taught her how to create Joker Venom, which she used to experiment on the homeless community with. Following a Joker attack in Gotham City, Snyder College hosted a superhero spirit day with Alexis dressing up with Joker logo. The Dean went to talk to her, but she then exposed him to Joker Venom. She started saying, as we were growing up, everyone taught us that we could be whatever we wanted. But you guys never thought that we would never want to be a superhero. Some of us just want to be the villain. And with that, she completed her transformation into becoming Joker's new sidekick, or as she put it, her partner. I really like this character's concept and design. I do think uh, she is a nice counterpart to Harley Quinn, because Harley Quinn is more of a uh, fangirl of like the Joker himself. She just wants to become like the Joker and just kill people because she's shit fucking crazy. <laughs> That's about it. I really like her uh, aesthetic too. It's a nice departure from Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn will always be iconic in my eyes and she always will be that bitch. But <laughs> punchline, I mean, every joke has got to have a punchline at the end of it. So if he, the Joker eventually dies then maybe she'll become the new Joker per se. But I highly doubt they'll ever actually kill off the Joker because the Joker's the Joker. But <laughs> I really, really, really love uh, this character and I want to see it develop more in the future. She has already clashed with uh, Harley Quinn and Harley Quinn was like, oh, you knew the Joker's new girlfriend? And she's like, no, I'm his partner. <laughs> she really wants to make that distinction clear that she's his partner and not her his, his girlfriend because she doesn't want to be seen as some crazy lovesick girl like Harley Quinn is seen throughout the series. But anyways, let's talk about this video. <laughs> uh, so for this video, I actually wanted to do something a little bit different. I didn't want to do the exact same uh, cookie cutter video of, hey, let's just do a speed paint and I talk over the speed paint. I actually wanted to make this video a little bit more interesting so you don't see the final product until the end. What I mean by you don't see the entire process, you just see like close-ups of the process being made and hopefully that keeps people's attention span because you can skip to the end or just click the link down below to see uh, the picture on my Instagram, <laughs> which you should go follow. <laughs> but I wanted to do a different editing style for this video just again to keep it more interesting uh this editing style is usually used for shorter format videos so if i i can see where uh certain aspects of it will need tweaking in the future but i'm willing to do that also wanted to get different angles of the shots and stuff like that uh the beginning shot is a little bit more grainy because i didn't want to take off my uh main camera from where it's sitting right now and then move all my stuff around so i just used uh one of my side webcams that i have extra just laying around but i still think it got what i wanted for the most part uh this drawing itself was actually really fun to do i wanted to uh just incorporate her sexiness and like her being fucking crazy kind of looking at the same time so <laughs> i think i captured it hopefully i captured it um but yeah all in all, it was just a very, very fun drawing to do. If you guys ever want to see me drawing live when I do happen to draw live, follow me on Twitch. Because I do stream there. I do stream a lot of games there too, of which I have a gaming channel. You should follow me over there also. But, 
follow me on Twitch if you want to interact with me, talk to me. Also, Instagram's a great way to keep in contact with me and just talk to me. I'm usually on there. That's probably my most used uh, social media site other than my Discord, which I actually have a community Discord, which I'll link down below. And my Twitch, again, I just like talking to people when I am streaming. But, yeah, uh, I actually have some other plans for videos in the future. I'm working on another animation video. Uh, that animation video will be of uh, social media icons. So you know where I'm going to pop it up actually right now. Where the social media is like going through like glitching out and stuff like that. I'm actually making an animation of a chibi Zeph walking across the screen. Stomping on the ground. Jumping up. Landing on the uh, text where it says Elden Draws. And then the animation for the um, logo changes are going to happen. And then a thing's going to come in and blow up and then the animation will be gone. So that'll be my new uh, social media animations, which will be for here and on Twitch. So in my videos, you'll see that animation. And I very, I'm very, i very happy with how it's coming along. Again, follow me on Instagram because I've been posting stories showing uh, progress of it, how it's going, what I'm doing in between uh, projects and stuff like that. Um, and like I said on Instagram too, I if you're wondering what happened to the contest thing, I decided not to make it a contest entry uh, due to the nature of what's going on in the comic itself. Uh, the short story is what I'm talking about. I think I mentioned it in the last video. Um, I was creating a short story for Webtoons because they were having a contest for it, but uh, it dealt with a lot of things that are currently going on in America as of this video due to George Floyd and just people being sick and fed up with systematic racism. But I just felt like I should give it more justice because I it was going to be, like I said, a short story. It's still going to be a shorter story. I just want to be able to flush out more of what's going on in the story because that short story is going to be able to be branched off into another short story that has the same universe, which will be very fun to do when I'm not working on the main comic series. So I'm going to be finishing up that short story, chapter one, and then it's going to be on hiatus for whatever long until I go back to it. Because after I've stopped uh, working on chapter one of the short story, I am going back to my main story, Scion X Awakening, because I want to continue there because uh, it's going to start getting exciting again. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I do have other video idea plans that I want to do. So I'm going to do them in the future. It's just the logistics of doing so. Also, I've been do taking care of my health more, hanging out with my friends. Uh, every Sunday, we've been going hiking, and it's been pretty fun, going to new places all the time. I've always wanted to go hiking. No one wanted to go hiking with me because every one of my friends were like, ah, nah, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta do X, Y, Z. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm too lazy today. Blah, 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 blah. But now I have some friends that actually want to go hiking with me. So I've been hiking with them every Sunday, and it's been very fun. I've been feeling a lot more, uh, I guess, happier or more content of my workflow and stuff like that due to me doing multiple things at once. Because I would usually just focus on one thing and be like, ah, oh, it's not done yet, blah, 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 blah. Like, it would just be a strain on um, my mental health because I would just hone in on that one thing. And if I didn't get it done, then I feel like I didn't finish anything at all in the day. So having multiple projects that I'm working on at the same time allows me to create molds, a lot of content, which I've been posting more on Instagram because I have more things I'm working on uh, simultaneously compared to me just constantly working on the uh, main series manga, Sion X Awakening, uh, and then just not having things to post because I don't want to post all of the process of that I'm working on for the comic because then there wouldn't be no comic then to like really read up to. Uh, it's weird. Anyways, I've been just enjoying this uh workflow that i currently have hopefully it stays that i enjoy it and so yeah again follow me on instagram <laughs> i just want to say thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to follow me on my instagram twitter and follow me over on twitch i will be streaming every now and again i do post videos all every five days or so over on my gaming channel. So go subscribe over there too if you want to see some gaming content. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.